everyone, it's Allie with the Alleyway Stamps. Today I'm going to be showing you a cute card using the EIEIO set. This is from our Mark Tree lease. I'm going to be using this cute little chick here. And I possibly will use the Get Moving feed right here and maybe a sentiment from here, I'm not sure. Um, so let's get started. This is gonna be a three by three square card. It's going to be super small and something you could just put on top of a package, almost like a, a tag. Okay, I'm gonna start off by coloring this cute little chicken here. You can color yours however you want. You can leave it white and do a white and red chick if you wanted. I'm gonna do mine in brown colors. I'm starting off using E00 and I'm just going to color in the body, the whole thing, just to lay a base coat of this E00. And then I'm going to take E34. And flick in this darker color here. Then I'm going to use E31. Use my E34 again. E31. And last, go over just the center right here with this E00. So it gives it a nice highlight right there. Wow, it looks totally different on camera than it does in real life. That's crazy. It's so much lighter here in real life, but. Um, okay, and then the beak, I'm just gonna take E00, give it a little swirl there. And I'm gonna take E31, go over. E34. E00. E34. <laughs> nice. Did you just see what I did? I'm such a dork. <laughs> Oh, and I just colored the whole thing in with the E31. That was great, too. You can tell it's not time. I'm such a dog. E00. Zero, zero. There we go. Oh. Okay, for the top up here, I'm going to be using R29. And then our 24. Okay, so I'm gonna take this um, Bow Bunny Welcome Home Collection. I initially thought I really, really liked this paper and I haven't even used it once because it wasn't my favorite. But there are some tones that I like in here. Like I'm not a huge person that uses paper that has words on it like this very much. But I'm going to use this paper up here to help out my card down here at the bottom. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to my trimmer and I'm going to trim okay one piece I'm going to trim at one and a half inch and then and one piece I'm going to trim at half inch so I'm gonna have two pieces one and a half inch and a half inch piece and it's going to be using this part of the paper down here okay so here's my two pieces what I'm going to do is take these pieces and crunkle 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 them crinkle them really well we want this to be kind of almost like our texture for this card. Okay, the next part, we need to have a really good adhesive. So I'm going to be using the Glue Glider Pro because this, um, this is the permanent one. This is really really good adhesive so I'm just gonna put one oops, one strip here at the bottom and then one kind of in the middle now I don't want my edges to be tacked down we're gonna have them kind of raised so I didn't put the adhesive all the way to the um, bottom of the card so what we're going to do place that down. Flip it over and trim it up. Crank up the edges a little. Okay, now with our half inch piece here, what we're going to do is we're going to take, and for this, I, again, don't want the edges to be um, tacked down, so I'm going to use some liquid adhesive and just use um, the Tombow Mono Multi-Glue, and I'm just going to take a thin strip in the middle. And this piece I'm going to be placing in the middle of the one and a half inch piece. Oops, so it'll go like that. Kind of, <laughs> that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna do that before it glue. The glue drive, I'm going to be pulling up in places where it's creased and have it have some texture actually on the card so it's almost doing its own pleating motion if you will if you can see that I don't know if you can see that that looks really cool and then take this and snip that off next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to my um, sewing machine what I'm going to do is sew along the edges there, 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 and there. So the top, the bottom, and both sides in the middle. And then after I'm done doing that, I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so you can see that some of my pieces, you know, I had them folded over and sewed them down. Now I'm just gonna take my fingers and pull up the edges a little bit. Like that. on that card. Now I'm going to be taking Vintage Photo Distressed Ink from Tim Holtz and I'm putting it on my sponge here and I'm just going to sponge the edges here really well and then kind of push into my paper and lift up because the other side of this paper is white because it's only one sided Don't worry if you get it on here, it doesn't really matter. There we go. Kind of 
press down a little bit. Close the card and don't forget the top up here. The edges. Okay. That's using the vintage photo. Now I'm going to be taking the walnut stain distress ink and on this um, get moving set from the alleyway stamps. I'm going to be using this cute little dotted feed here. I'm just taking it and kind of placing it everywhere. Kind of like that. Get all that ink in there. Then I'm going to take my mini mister. If you don't have a mini mister, that's okay. Just get a little cup of water and even a paintbrush. Like I have a paintbrush here too. So if you don't have a mini mister, just take the, the back of your paintbrush and just kind of dip it in the water and drop or flick a few droplets of water. Okay, I'm going to be using the Get Moving set one more time. I'm going to take the cloud from this. I'm using Stampin' Up's white pigment ink pad. This ink pad is super um, sticky and it takes a little while to dry. What I'm doing is I'm squeezing the pad so that it gets some color on the top of the container because I'm going to use that in just a second. But first, I'm just going to ink up my stamp. Really good. And then stamp my cloud here. Ink it up one more time. And The next thing I'm going to do is open this up. I'm using that little reservoir in the top. I'm taking a water um, pen. This just has a water reservoir where it holds your water. If you don't have one of these, you can just use the paintbrush and water. And I'm just lifting off some of that white ink and coloring in. Now I'm going to be coloring in from the outside in. You only want to really go over this paper one time because it's craft paper and it's not a um, watercolor paper. There we go. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so I have my two little chicks here. And this is some Baker's Twine I made using the E34. Um, if you want to know how to make your own Baker's Twine, I will put a link below. What I'm going to be doing is taking a piece of twine in my hand and basically making little tiny loops on top of each other. Like that. And I'm going to have my two chicks sitting in basically some um, twine, what's going to look like a little nest. So to hold this together, I'm going to use just a glue dot, stick it in the center at the bottom, wrap it kind of up and around. Now I'm taking the loops of twine here, the top, and I'm going to cut them apart. You can leave yours 
um, looped if you like that look better. So I want this little bird, it's going to sit like right here. So I'm going to stick this down there. And I think we're going to have to make some more. Okay, what I'm going to do now that I have my long twine here, I'm going to take another glue dot, place it right in the center of that long twine, and here's some more that I've created. What I'm going to do is cut the loops, but this time, because this will be shorter, I'm going to cut the loops on both sides instead of just one side. So in reality, you're just going to have a bunch of little tiny snippets of twine, but it's just a faster way of getting up, getting there. So then we're just going to take and kind of plop them down and rub them in so they get really good and stuck in that glued off. I might even need to put a little bit of um, my diamond glaze. Let's grab this here and stick her down. And I'm holding her down while I'm pulling some of the twine up and around her like that. And then I'm going to take an American Crafts Pop Dot, just one of the small ones here. So you can see how cute it looks like a little nest. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side here with this little bird. Okay, I'm taking the Chatterbox set from the Alleyway Stamps March release. And down here it says, I only have eyes for you. Now this comes as one sentiment, but I've cut my for you off so I can use it just to say for you or I can put it back together for the whole thing. So I'm using um, the Walnut Ink Distress Ink from Tim Holtz and we're going to ink that up really well. And we're just going to stamp it inside of our cloud. So the cute little sentiment is not like overpowering our cute little card here. So that's it. That's our card for today. I hope you guys liked the card and I hope you were inspired to create something using your twine maybe a little bit different. So I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, it's Allie with the Alleyway Stamps. Um, today I'm going to be showing you um, a really cute card making, making. <laughs> oh, it's nighttime, I'm tired. Okay, 